Good morning. I am making this video not as the spiritual director of the Buddha Joy Meditation School, but simply as an American-born Buddhist monk. Many religions value love and compassion. Not for just one's um, family members or one's neighbors, but universal love and universal compassion. There are many people in this country who are enthusiastic about democratic socialism, which should not be confused with um, totalitarian communism. And I'd like to explore this with my fellow Americans. Many of us look to Scandinavia with enthusiasm at what can happen when democracy and socialism join hands. But some of us Americans don't like looking at other countries, and some people call that American exceptionalism. So I invite all my fellow Americans to crack their history books and look at our founding fathers. Not one, but two of our founding fathers were enthusiastic about democratic socialism. Remember the name Thomas Paine. He's penned several books, including Common Sense, which was instrumental in uh, fomenting the American Revolution. Let me jot down the exact date. In 1790, he penned Agrarian Justice, which is basically, it sounds a lot like uh, FDR's New Deal. It promoted um, national security, social security, union, uh, unionization, or its equivalent back then, because English was different in 1790, um, minimum wage, and national health care. So that's pretty cool. This was long before Karl Marx. In fact, it could be said that democratic socialism is an American invention. Yes, although forgotten, an American invention. A second founding father, Benjamin Franklin, instituted not one but two socialist institutions. The first is the library, where people were able to uh, go in and borrow books and return them without any fees, completely for free completely a public service. And the second was the post office, once again, subsidized by the government so that ordinary folk could mail their letters and parcels. It was, it was uh, an example of socialism. So I speak to you not as... Um, I'm, I'm addressing my fellow Americans to remind us that socialism is not scary. Socialism works. The New Deal worked very well in America. Um, the roots of democratic socialism were before the existence of the Republican Party. Uh, one of the greatest American progressives, Teddy Roosevelt, was a Republican. Um, his cousin, a Democrat, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, instituted the New Deal, and after World War II, um, during arguably America's greatest time of financial prosperity, we used the um, Eisenhower era tax code. It did not outlaw business. It did not seize the property of the billionaires. In fact, if someone's a billionaire, at the increase in their tax, they will hardly notice it because they are drowning in money. So we don't have to worry about theories. It's already been done before. We've already implemented an Eisenhower era tax code successfully. We've already implemented a new deal successfully. So democratic socialism, in addition to being authored in America, has been tried in America to great success. 
My fellow Americans, there are pe hateful, greedy people lying to us, trying to fill us with fear. Clearly, I'm a Buddhist monk and a Taoist practitioner, but even I can read the New Testament and see that in the book of Acts, um, so, de socialism was inferred. My friends, hell, every time, every time a guaranteed minimum wage, guaranteed minimum income is implemented, productivity goes up, people return to school or open up new businesses unless, you know, they're ill. That's been, this is not a theory, this has been tested many, many times on at least two continents. The ideals of democratic socialism have been tested and are effective. It's my hope, it is my desire that all my fellow Americans break the shackles of the fear and hate and greed and open their minds to the possibility of democratic socialism. Thank you.